Hi everyone! <laughs> Welcome back to another mukbang. Wow, it's been... Oh, I say this way too often, but it's been a while. While I am back with another mukbang. I am going to eat ramen, of course. My baby is taking a nap, so I have about 50 minutes to an hour, so... Um, don't really have the time to cook anything. Ramen is always the best. My favorite mukbangs. So I am boiling water and my water is... I don't know, is, does it seem enough? I might have to add a little bit more. Uh, but today I'm going to have this roasting jjampong. Jjampong uh, is like a spicy seafood noodles. This one is from Primo One and it says that the noodles are... Uh, I think air dried instead of fried. So... Um, yeah, less guilty for sure, <laughs> especially for me right now because I should not be eating this but I have not had lamin in a really long time. So it looks like I'm very, very excited for it and I do have desserts. It's one of the, I think it was kind of viral for a little bit on TikTok or Instagram, whatever, but it's this Korean sweet potato um, dessert. It's frozen, but you air fry it, and it's like super chewy outside, and it's like sweet potato inside. And it looks exactly like sweet potato, but it's not, but kind of is. So I'm going to have my air fry over here, my favorite little thing for the moment. I'm going to cook it like towards the end of the meal. So enough talking. I know I'm a little bit far from my camera, so my audio might be kind of shitty, but uh, I'll figure that out. There is four. I'm going to make two today. I feel like after pregnancy, I could just never have enough food. Um, and I'm pretty sure I could kill two really fast. Okay. I was doing my dishes in the dishwasher and I have to pause it. Um, because my schedule revolves around little Aiden, so yeah, right now is it this highest? Is it highest? Wait, did I like? Oh, I didn't realize that this could go higher. Yes, so it's been a while. Uh, obviously, I am in a different setting. We, Chung and I, uh, moved to a different location. Uh, it's a bit closer to his uh, new work, and um, yeah, it's a good, it's a pretty nice area. Um, happy here. We are excited to be here. You know, ex you know, ex exploring different town, different city. So I'm very excited for that. Okay, let's add, this is the soup, okay, let's add the dried vegetables. I remember when Aiden was like, like three months? Is it when I started to film mukbang again? I don't remember, but I remember, oh shit, oh shit, okay. I remember how difficult it was to film because this is when his naps were just so inconsistent. He woke up really often, very often. Um, um, so, ooh, sure. so I remember trying to film the plan and I was just always so anxious because I'm like, oh my god, like I'm gonna be too loud. I didn't gonna wake up and all that stuff. Now, I'm still a little anxious that like maybe today is just the day where Aiden just decided not to sleep full hour or more where I'm, you know, like obviously I can't continue to film. So I have, I still have like 1% of that, but it's still better than before. <laughs> the noodles look a little lighter than the one you would typically see, like it's a lot lighter in color. I'm so excited! Um, 
Tori and I rarely go out to eat. I mean, like we try to, or he tries to, because I like, because I like to. Um, but it's been harder because he's been working every day. Uh, I don't think I've ever really mentioned it officially, but uh, basically, Tu, that my hu husband or Travis, that's his English name. He is opening a restaurant. Um, hopefully in few months or like hopefully very very soon they're trying their hardest to open as soon as possible but he is yes opening a restaurant with uh with two of his friends i didn't realize that i only have two spoons um so i do have to get more but okay let's try. Yeah, lower this or i could actually turn it off find it out Mm, okay, you know, I actually tried their black bean noodles. Um, I think that's the first one That's like the first one that came out or one that I tried or I was um, So It's really difficult to sit here because uh, the kitchen island is actually on the other side So I have a cabin here, so I have to like It's very uncomfortable. But anyways um, What was I saying? I'm all over the place. Oh yeah, so I tried the black bean noodles one. It's good. It's good. And I've heard good things, but it's really sweet. It's very sweet. I did like it. Sometimes I prefer like sweeter than onion or chapati. But this one, there definitely is a hint of like sweetness. Let's not unplug it. A hint of sweetness, uh, but it does taste uh, very flavorful. Tastes a little more than a ramen. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. It's definitely on the sweeter side. Mm. I see like small pieces of like crab and shrimp. It's not very spicy because my tolerance went down a lot. So for me to think that it's not spicy, it's not that spicy. I'm gonna get kimchi. I think, um, you know, like ever since I started my like, how long have I been filming? It's almost 10 years of being on YouTube. Yeah, I think next year will be 10th year. Right? 2015, yeah. But, I think this is my like, first time actually filming in the kitchen and a beautiful thing is that I could just walk over to the refrigerator, I could just walk over to my rice cooker or whatever because before I used to film like more in like a bedroom or like a living room area so like if I forget something it was just kind of a bitch to get out and I have to go get it and I forget a lot of things. <laughs> Definitely need more soup. <laughs> the thing about making ramen on these kind of like pots. <sighs> yeah, um, is that my water measurement is pretty terrible. It's okay, it's still pretty good. Aiden, scary. <laughs> I think he found his pacifier next to him though, so it's, it's scary. It's like the most terrifying thing. If you're a parent, you know, most like I'm not even scared of scary movies anymore. I'm terrified that Aiden's gonna wake up too early from his nap or his 
sleep. I think it's okay. No color. I mean, if he does end up waking up, whatever, he'll join me. Mm. Mm. For Eric, the past few days, he's been pretty um, horrible at sleeping. This is not fun. I don't know why he's having such a hard time sleeping. I might have to bring him out soon because he's okay right now. I think he's... I don't think he's going to go back to sleep. But if you guys watch my vlog, previous vlog, you guys should probably know that his room is... Um, pretty baby proofed so he's usually in there alone well, I mean like I play with him but like they're like during bed like before bedtime and like a little after he wakes up I don't bring him out right away so he like cause he explores he goes to his books and like he just kind of like hangs out by himself and then I like, go get him so right now I think he I think I have good like 10 minutes and I probably have to take him out mm. Ever since I had a baby, I'm pretty sure like only people who had a baby or like, I'm sure only people who has a baby or planning on having a kid is like my majority of my viewers now I think so I'm sure you guys are familiar with this but if you're if you're not there's this thing called sleep regression where your baby just um, refuses to go down for a nap or bedtime and they just can't sleep stay asleep too long they wake up a lot more often so I thought this happens like every like half year or like every like four or five months right at least at most I don't know uh, but I've been like looking up like oh nine month sleep regression there's an article about it oh ten month sleep regression there's another article about it so I'm like so it's inevitable. They're gonna just go through sleep regression like anytime, any day, whenever, however. The scary thing is that you can't really do anything about it to fix it. I know some people, uh, I'm all about, you know, like, uh, what is it called? Sleep training, but. During their setbacks, like when they're teething, they're sick, or when they're going through sleep regression, I don't really like to, like, I would prefer to just go to him and attend them. But I know there are some people that will just let the baby cry no matter what. Which, uh, in a way, you know, I've been through some shitty nights and I, I feel them. I know where they're coming from. I recently had a night where Aiden was just so fussy at night. Like, no matter what I did, he would not want to go to sleep. It's not like he wanted to play. He was just crying not like, both of us not knowing why he's crying 
a night like that, I'm just like, I'm done. I want to walk out. <laughs> I think for me, so Aiden is 10 months now. Within that, well, ex excluding pregnancy. Oh, okay, let's include pregnancy. The hardest, the most difficult thing about this entire adventure is sleep deprivation for me. My gosh, and I'm pretty sure 99% of you guys could agree. Man, if you try to live and work through lack of sleep man it's hard it makes you a, like a monster it makes you into this angry person it brings this evilness out of you some people are better but even for them it's hard But I am basically done with my noodles, so I think I can start cooking the um, my desserts. But it might be a little loud. Air fryer is right by the camera. It's not the loudest uh, air fryer, but it still makes noise. <laughs> mm -hmm. After we moved here, I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna be more active on YouTube now. Now that we're like pretty like settled for a little bit, and I started filming. I was like, yeah, it's fine. I get to record Aiden, you know, Aiden, uh, Aiden's milestones and like me and Aiden, like spending time together. This is gonna be awesome to look back at. <laughs> I transfer all my files to my computer, ready to edit. I look at myself and I'm like, holy shit, I look like ass. <laughs> I look so bad. I aged. I look like I need a shower. I look like I need a makeover. So it made me a little sad and before if I felt like oh man this angle looks so bad on me this video like all like this entire day clip I look so ugly then before then I would actually not upload that video I went through numerous numerous videos of that you know being on youtube for like almost 10 years as i was going through videos you know like i told you like, oh my god it looks so ugly i hate it i hate that i have to leave a record of me like this but at the same time aiden was so cute if you guys watched the video you guys probably know aiden is so cute i'm like i don't want to get rid of this like i filmed and you know like i know that i'm gonna look back at this because i do with all my vlogs I look back at all the videos so I know that I will regret actually deleting it instead of uploading it so although I hated the way I looked I'm like I'm just gonna upload it whatever can't be helped This is what it looks like. Premium sweet potato bread. Ta-da! So if you guys know, they have a potato one, like a regular potato. And then they also have the chestnut bread one. I tried the potato one. It's good. The potato one is really good. So I'm very, very... I have very high hopes for this one. I did want to try the chestnut, but I don't like keeping too much like, sweets in my house because they'll be gone in one night. So, okay. So, air fryer, 338 Fahrenheit, 20 minutes. 20 minutes! Okay, so, 338. 
I'm just going to clean this up while we are waiting and I'll probably bring Aiden up. I didn't realize that you were not recording but welcome. He said, what is happening? Oh, nice burp. So can you tell us why your nap was so short? What's up? Do you want a snack? You want the apple? Do you want to have apple? I'll get you apple. Baby snacks are um, hella decided to film again Aiden was sleeping like two hours like two three hours on a good day on one of the naps and the other other nap would be like an hour but as soon as I started filming his naps are like 40 30 minutes it's not that bad just because he's a little now that he's a little older I feel like it's easier to have him next to me you know, keep me company. This is kind of as like calling for milk though. <gasps> That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna make coffee. I'm gonna make coffee. Um, although he's not sleeping, he's playing by himself really well. 
I'm just gonna do a little bit speed up. I used to have a espresso machine. I also had like the espresso grind maker or grinder or whatever you wanna call it. I got rid of it because I just hated having so much appliances. That looks very, very like heavy and concentrated, but it's okay because I'm going to make iced coffee. I recently went to a biology bubble tea place with a friend, and they give you a cup every time you order bubble tea. those like big appliance not big appliance appliance what's it called like a cookware um yeah i got rid of those and then i'm just like i'm gonna just because like tom only drinks black coffee anyway so i'm like you don't need an espresso machine or whatever i like sweet drinks but like i just was not i just didn't want to make espressos anymore i don't want to like have to put like milk and like sweetener and all that i was just too lazy to do that i was not fun anymore so you know yeah so i got rid of that i'm just doing like more like an instant kind of lattes or uh this is the most i'll do um, so yeah but i've been loving it i'm not gonna go back for now difficult it is having a baby and a husband <laughs> so after I got married um you know there's a word um in Korean that described like a woman that is off the market who has a kid married or old whatever they're labeled as ajma it has a negative nuance to it. So like when I got married and people were like, oh, you're Ajumma now. Like I hated it. I'm like, I would just be like, don't call me that. Like, no, I'm not Ajumma. No, I'm still very young. I'm just married. I'm off the market, but don't call me that, you know? So I hated it. And like, even until like I was pregnant, like everyone was like, oh, you're Ajumma now. You're like, we're Ajumma now. I'm like, no, I'm like, why, are you, why are you like labeling me like that? So I hated listening to that. Or hearing that, but after I had a baby, I'm like, call me Ajma, whatever. I don't care. I love being Ajma. I love talking shit about your husband. <laughs> I love talking about how like we sacrifice so much. <laughs> like, like you know, like we talk about like oh, like how much did you get this for? Like, cause you know, a lot of people. I think people use Facebook Market like a lot in general, but. To be honest, I feel like do you use as much as a mother who just had a baby and you just want to like save like a good amount of money on toys that your kids probably not gonna use for a long time. So like we like talk about that. Like, oh my god, I got this for ten dollars. It's like retail for like two hundred dollars. It's really fun. And like we talk about like in laws. <laughs> we drive all these like mom car now like. We talk about strollers, we talk about baby bottles, we talk about like breast milk. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Kaka. Mm, <Kaka. laughs> um. 
So like my mom and like my dad, even like my parents will be like, ah, you're Ajima now. I'm like, I don't care, whatever, I am. <laughs> I look like one, I talk like one, I act like one. I am proud because I have a beautiful baby who rocked my world, changed my world upside down. So I think I've changed a lot. You know, people change, it's, it's inevitable. No one's like, I'm sure people are, but you, you still change a little bit, you know? Maybe some people will see it, some people don't. But I truly believe that everybody just changes. Oh my god, it's like raining so beautifully. Like, it reminds me of the day that when I first had a date. Oh, I miss him. Anyways, um, one of the biggest, biggest change that happened to me, besides like, I'm not talking about like body changes, like stretch marks and like saggy boobs. I'm not talking about that. I love hanging out with people. I think after like high school and college, I started to like kind of like start, I wasn't reserved necessarily, but I was really homebody. I rather hang out with just my boyfriend, just us two, watch TV, just do stuff just on their own. I did not want to go to parties. I did not want to go hang out with people. I did not want to go to events. I didn't want people over. You know, I hated it. And like, Don was such an opposite person, which, Still to this day surprising me that him and I married <laughs> But we fought so much because of that because he was like kind of more more of an extrovert than me uh, but both of us are introverted introverts and um, Yeah, we fought so much over that because like he wanted to go out He wanted to invite people over a drink. I'm like no, 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 no But after I had Aiden, I think I love Aiden. I love spending every minute with him um I want to hang out with adults. I want to have adult conversations. I want to just talk about mommy things. Uh, it doesn't have to be mommy things. It could be, I could be hanging out with people who doesn't have kids and we just could talk about how's your world like? Like how is your life without kids? Like I forgot already. It's been 10 months but I forgot it. So I love it. I love, so like Tong, like, 1000% supports me because like sometimes I go out every day well, with Aiden of course like we go to friend's house we go shopping we'll just go be somewhere and I was like oh do you think I'm like going out too much now he's like no like I support a thousand percent go out meet friends and all that I think it's because before Aiden I was so opposite I was just like I don't want to be out I don't want to talk to anybody but now that like I kind of became like someone who wants to hang out like he does um, so I think he's very supportive and happy for me, so Yeah, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's mukbang and dessert mukbang, coffee mukbang um, I don't know what I'm going to film next, but it was really fun. It was really nice catching up with you guys I hope this video comes off very relaxing because I felt like I was talking to a friend Like really, it has, I haven't in a really long time, like I'm to the camera I'm uh, strictly talking that when I filmed, I felt like before, like I was so comfortable, I felt like I was talking to a friend. Um, but like at one point, I'm just like, what do I talk about? Like, okay, like I have to plan that this is what I want to say, blah blah. It was becoming more like a script, uh, even though like it really wasn't because I was pretty bad at it. But like I always had to write down stuff that I wanted to talk about. Um, but today, I'm just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna <laughs> just go with the flow. I'm just gonna talk whatever comes to my head and just you know all that. So. That is what I did, so I feel pretty comfortable doing so. Uh, it's getting very dark, so I gotta attend my baby. And yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe. I'm almost there, million. That is my goal this year. I told him I am gonna reach million subscribers by the end of this year. I cannot believe it's already April, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video again. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.